Rise of Kingdoms has some of the most misleading, offensive, and aggressive ads on all of social media. So I thought it would be fun to watch them willingly and point out all the lies. Raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by a Rise of Kingdoms ad. Like, I know all mobile game ads have just atrocious advertising on social media, but some of these are just downright terrible, and one of the ones that we're going to take a look at later actually got a lot of negative backlash over on Reddit, so much so that Lilith actually had to address it and pull the advertisement entirely. So make sure you stay until then to check that out. But guys, before we jump in, about 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you get on there, click that sub button. I genuinely appreciate it a ton, and you can always unsubscribe later. But without further ado, let's jump in. Look at this dude. Dude, man, that, that's me begging for subs and likes. Like, come on, come on, guys, click the button, please. I love how this is called Rise of Kingdoms Terrible Ad 54, which means there are 53 other terrible ads that this person has uploaded before this. Anyway, let's take a look. Come on, come on, give me Rome. It has so much stuff. What? It has How so much stuff. Siberia? Look at, look at, look at my man Julius Caesar. Bro, I'm pretty sure that's Jake Paul after Mayweather got done with him. I choose again? Nah, forget it. Maybe there's treasure. Hey, it's desolate, so people wouldn't want it. It's also easy to defend. What? They're fighting each other. What? They're fighting each other. Dude, the voiceovers are so bad. It's so bad. Half these civilizations aren't even in the game. Scandinavia is not in the game. Egypt isn't officially in the game. Persia is not officially in the game. Like, this is just a lie. This is just actually a lie that's none of my business i'll take my time and grow some corn oh okay gotta build a city and train an army true that's a that's a true that's a big what the dude how did he... my man's got nine barracks for infantry what is he the united states military anyway let's take a look here guys let's team up guys let's team up wait a minute hold on hold on go back go back First of all, this is exactly what Lost Kingdom chat looks like. So that's pretty accurate. I'm going to give it to him there. But what is this? This is a tier five elephant. What? Dude. Okay. Dude, look at that. That actually looks so sick. Wait a minute. These are actual units in the game. Dude, dude is there somewhere? Is there elephants in the game file somewhere that they're just not giving us? Also, notice how this is a unit, but this is the same shape as like a commander. Is, it, is this a commander? Are we, are we getting elephants as straight up commanders now? And apparently you can ally up with barbarians. Anyway, whatever. Let's let's just, let's see what happens when they Winter's shake coming, hands. It's time for us to come up. Winter's oh, coming. Come on, you weak chickens. You weak I'm chickens. The the I'm the king of the north. Next, I'll take Rome. What? Oh They're allying up. They're allying up. No, oh, no. we plan to rule the world. Wow. Kingdoms. Downloads for free. Dude, it's trash. It's so bad. You weak chickens. Like, what is this made for a four-year-old? I can't, I can't even. I mean, ignoring the atrocious voiceover, this isn't even what the game looks like. Like, the arrows aren't like that. There's no there's no real-time border here. There's just nothing. The whole ad, corny, misleading, not interested. All right, this is terrible ad 38. It's over. I'm screwed. Quit jumping on me. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. What is that? Bro, that's a straight up demon pig. What? It literally looks like one of the twin chefs from Little Nightmares. It actually just looks straight up creepy. Like its eyes are rolling back in its head like what? And he's jumping on my man's back as if drowning wasn't hard enough. You got a pig on your back just like get under the water. I spotted land. Let's go. Oh, and now he saves him. Okay. He's redeemed himself. Wait, wait, Viking buildings? You're telling me they had Vikings in the ads months ago and we're just now getting them in the game? First off, that's a ripoff. Second, what is this level 99? What is that? Great, let's pillage. Yeah, because the first thing I like to think about after almost drowning is let's go start a nearby war by robbing and burning everything. Pillage. Oink, oink, oink. Oh, nice defense. Oh, oh man, got bears now. Let's add a giant. Let's add a giant. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. What the fuck is that? Bro, they added Boogie 2988 to the game. Vikings sure are strong. This just pisses me off because they're straight up lying. Put giants in the game for real, and that would actually be exciting. Vikings sure are strong. Royals of Kingdoms. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is terrible ad number eight. This one actually looks relatively peaceful. You know, we're in the middle of a city. There's no way this could go wrong, right? Look who we have here. Oh, it's Mehmed. Wait a minute. Touch her. Wait a minute. Did that woman just get abducted three seconds later? Bro, Mehmed Falcon punched her in the fucking head. Welcome, punch. Look how bad this animation is. Don't touch her. Help. Yeet. Never come back. This is all I have. Wait a minute. He beat her up and abducted her. And we're showing these ads to kids. Oh my god, Lilith. Whatever. Let, let's just. Have. Where should I go now? 
Hey, drink up. He stole your girl. Wow, so much money. Nice. All these people are customers keep coming and coming. Wow, coming and coming. First, I'll build my city. Then I'll build an army. Wait a minute. Hold on. In seven seconds, we went from a dude with a cart to a whole ass city. What the hell? They don't tell you that in real life, building this wall takes 42 days and you gotta use all your speed ups and it takes like 50 million stone. Homie did it in seven seconds. Yeah, right. I'll build an army. All right, man. Now Attack. we're, now we're talking. You got beat by a low life. I miss you so much. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He goes, you got beat by a low life. He called himself a low life. Like, oh yeah, that's a game I want to play where I'm the low life loser. Uh, I'm sorry, this ad was just offensive. It not only was it misleading, it was actually offensive. It, it it plays on the whole complex of women needing men to rescue them, and not to mention like the whole domestic violence and abuse and you know abduction, kidnapping, all that. Shit. I don't know. I feel like that should go against some sort of guidelines on like YouTube and stuff, right? All right, let's take a look at another one. To take to be the most evil overlord, being hated by another one, of course. I don't, how does that even make sense? Wouldn't it be the other way around? Like to be the most evil overlord, you would have to hate everybody. Whatever, let's just see where this goes. Of course. What? Not cool. Oh! Oh! Honey, no. Get fucked! Frederick, get fucked! Hang on, hang on, we're watching that again. Is that Constance? What? She Not bitch slaps cool. him and then Sparta's that motherfucker. CV over here just like, damn, she's a bad bitch. Not cool, honey, no! Oh my god. Everyone here is just okay with her murdering that man in front of them. Or uh, to their knowledge, obviously he survives. Cool. Honey, no! Sweet! Boy, boy, boy. Saved me. Wife despises me. See ya, world. What the fuck? <laughs> He goes, see your world, and attempts to commit suicide by running into the fucking wall. Can you imagine how hard and how dedicated you would have to be to commit suicide by sprinting at a boulder head first? <laughs> oh my god. What? Secret treasure. Secret treasure, All yeah, right, yeah, okay. Get some wood, I'll slaves. Kill. Just say it. Don't try to act politically correct because this is an ad. We know what you're getting at here, okay? My legion. Then I'll expand. Becoming a rising overlord doesn't happen overnight. Finally, I'll set out and conquer. Why am I invading him again? Because I'm evil and he <laughs> smells. Run. Because I'm evil and he smells? Dude, it's like we're going back to the fourth grade. Like, what? I can't. There's no way Lilith saw this. There's no way a multi-million dollar company like saw this ad and was like, yeah, we're willing to pay for that. And then also pump hundreds of thousands of dollars behind it to show it on every social media platform to everybody who might slightly be interested in a mobile game. The only cool thing about this ad is that the, the fighting actually looks dope. Like this actually, this looks cool, right? This looks awesome. But the problem is that's not even what the game looks like. The game doesn't even look like this. The whole ad was a bunch of garbage garbage CGI from like 2003. It's all blurry and choppy and shit. And the voiceover is just so bad. It's just, it's absolutely cringe. This is the type of ad that you make when, you know, it's like you're in middle school and you're doing your final project for your video editing class. And you, you realize that the finals actually do tomorrow and it's already 9 30 PM. And you're like, Oh shit, I got to write a whole like storyboard and everything. It's a, uh, uh, he, he hits his head and then there's treasure and then he builds a city and then he smells. Duh. Oh my God, dude, there's no way a real adult made this. This is just pathetic. All right, let's take a look at the ad that Lilith actually had to respond to. You can see here we are on r slash mobile game ads which honestly i'm i wouldn't be surprised if every rise of kingdoms ad showed up in this subreddit somewhere but about seven months ago this this user posted woman gets her two options are revenge or suicide these ads are getting disturbing like um yeah i agree unfortunately this is the only version of the ad that i have so let's just take a look dude no way what look at that look at that he knocks her out and then look, look, he rips. Oh my God. Oh my God, Lilith, really, you really messed up with this one, Jesus. It literally says suicide. It literally says revenge or suicide. I thought that was just the title of the Reddit post. Okay, so she picks revenge and she jumps anyway. Jesus Christ, dude. Well, she found gold, so good for 
for her, I guess. Okay, where's this going? Oh, you unlocked Mulan. Good for you. Okay. So they murder all the men. That's good. Glory, really? This has got to be the least glorious thing I've ever seen. Like, who would see an ad like this and be like, oh yeah, that looks like a great game. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Even worse, right? Like, imagine showing this ad and, and it gets in front of kids that are 8, 10 years old, right? And they're seeing this type of behavior and they're learning that, like, suicide. Like, it's just, it no. Absolutely deplorable, but uh, people did actually contact Rise of Kingdoms about this advertisement. And this is what GM Vanessa had to say. I don't know if that's their actual name. They said, thank you for bringing this to our attention the ad has been taken down immediately since it came to our attention we sincerely apologize for being lackluster in our ad management and overseeing this particular unethical ad yeah uh you don't say lackluster is a complete understatement you have to actually not even be reviewing ads to allow something like this to slip through the crack right it says this ad strongly goes against our ideals and should have absolutely never been able to get published we will make sure that in the future we will take comprehensive measures to make sure that all ads undergo extensive screening before being published. I don't know about that one, Chief, but we'll see. We once again apologize for letting the slip through. Slip through? Like, how do you... It, there's no slipping through. Like, like, is your ad review process the Grand Canyon? Because that's the only crack that something like this could slip through. It's so... It takes zero critical thinking skills to be like, hmm, I wonder if this ad's gonna, like, upset people. Like, it's the most bluntly of offensive thing that you could possibly do. Right? Suicide. I, like, dude, just be honest. It didn't slip through. You guys just don't... You just weren't reviewing them. That, that's what this was. It says, we'll continue to work hard to ensure all ads made by our partners as well as the ones made internally are up to moral standards again you didn't review it okay just be honest with us you one of your partners you paid them they sent you an ad you skimmed through it, and you put it on google adsense like th there's no way that you actually looked at this because it wouldn't have been able to come out in the first place if you had as just like everyone we do not want to see such an ad ever again okay good i believe you there vanessa i believe you there luckily it seems like there haven't been any other ads that were as bad as this now again an ad like that is so obviously offensive that it, it just it had to have been an accident right it just it just had to have been and the problem is the game's actually good like like the actual game itself is fun and engaging and i really enjoy it and instead of paying people like me to, to promote the game they're paying garbage third-party animation studios probably minimum wage and this is the bullshit they come up with anyway guys i want to know in the comment section below what do you think about these rise of kingdoms ads did you see a rise of kingdoms ad before this video and how do you feel about them i want to hear from you guys as always if you made it to the end of this video hopefully you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and even if you think you're subscribed go down there and check because i'd be willing to bet that you're probably not as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace